How you doing, guys? I'm going back to that other job I was at the other day where I took six pounds out of one of those um, condensing units. There was a Daniel mini split in the chapel area and also a old tabletop type condensing unit um, with a furnace in the basement. So I had to go there and check those two. I didn't have time. Last time I was there, I didn't leave that job till like 8 o'clock at night. So I'm going back there. Um, to check out those other two, find out why they're not working. I guess he's saying he's getting a little cooling, but not a lot. So he's got a bunch of weddings he needs to do this weekend, so he needs to get that done. Um, going over there, and hopefully I can help this this cat out. So, stay tuned. All right, a little better. I turn the light on. Little GE gas furnace, gas fired furnace. Um, he's got another room. Looks like a uh, Magic Chef furnace over there. A heat. This one's got an A-coil. What's that? A little expansion valve in there on this one. Yeah. We're going to check the charge. I just checked the filter. We're good with it. Put that for a return. It's only a bloody 10 inch. Or 12 inch. Don't seem like enough. Well, we'll check it. It's a little chapel here. There we got two units. I got this one here. I'm just going to check this one. That's that little furnace we just checked in. It's also a, a Sanyo mini split, and it's right up in the ceiling here. A little Sanyo. I checked the filter. It looks pretty clean. Looks like a washable filter. half bad. The filter's pretty clean. So we're going to check both the units. This one is uh, a little chapel here. This guy's got the little mini split controller here. I'll check that other one first. Then I'll check this one. We're checking the, uh, the main building one here first. split that we're going to check next. Do one at a time here. Check this one out. Alright guys, you see it's got a little bristle here. And this is what they call a uh, three-sided coil. Oh, it's on the top. It'll be alright there. The coil's on the flat on the top here. It doesn't wrap around the sides. So we're good. We can leave this door open. The coil's here on the very top. You can see it. Out. 
some gas out into my uh, recovery tank then. Remember right off the high side. See that the press is sweating? It's a little, it's a little charge. Save it. type of stuff you have in your truck you probably never use it but when you need it it's there
this aluminum fin is all it is. All flat. I'm not getting no airflow across them. So I'm gonna work out the rest of that and see what I can do. I'm kind of really screwing up my brush here. Plastic brush. Back, the fins don't look half bad now. Basically, there's a piece of screen that goes over that right inside there, yeah, like that. Just
it's all worn out. The only thing I see is R22, that's it. The old magic shift. An old one. Little coils right on top of the unit. The end bolts. Surprised this shit even still works. But it does. Outside temperature, about, about 95. It's hot here by the condenser unit, you know. 90, 95. Um, I did my wet bulb inside the 70. So, we'll say 90 degrees. That's 70 degree wet bulb, it's 20 degrees superheat. 90 degrees, 20 degrees superheat. 70. About 16. I'm within five. Look at that. Evaporator inside is 39, 30, 37. Outside condensing is 110. So if I'm at 90. 95 and 110 is 15 degree delta T across this um, condenser unit. That's good. That pressure's a little low. It's 95. This is a 10 seer unit. Take 95 plus 30. It would be 124. Go down your chart here. 22 chart. 124. Pressure should be 275. 275. Well, I'm, I'm low there, so can't really go by the uh, the sub cool because the head pressure is low. So old, old systems, you know, you got to kind of like tweak them a little bit. Let me see what my suction line pressure is. Two, any bad. Fifty-three. That's fine. It's about the best we're gonna get with this one.